Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, um, I feel like there's still somebody here who's been doing a little bit of praying. I feel like they're under judgment here as the, as the door closes, all right? I'm seeing this as somebody just kind of feeling very low, very small. This is feeling like um, somebody possibly needing to have an ego death or going through an ego death. We've got death here, the two of swords, and the hangman, okay, and the world. So clearly, um, things are coming to an end here. I feel like um, this is choosing a new path here. This person's trying to decide what path to go on. Um, still, maybe somebody could be stuck in the middle. I feel like this hang, this hangman, it's almost like they know they need to go. They're hanging on to that rope for dear life, you know. Um, they don't want to make any changes. They don't want to let go of their ego. They're under major judgment here at the end of this cycle. Things need to end, and somebody needs to choose a path here. I feel like this is a masculine energy. Um, you could be dealing with the Pisces or Scorpio, maybe Capricorn. I'm feeling Capricorn energy here. Taurus, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, kind of heavy on Gemini. Yeah. I feel like um, somebody's having a hard time choosing a path or they just don't want to. I feel like in this hangman position, somebody's been in a comfort zone, putting something off, avoiding something, procrastination. You know, they didn't, they, this could be somebody who doesn't like change. It makes them feel very uncomfortable, but they're more uncomfortable under judgment. So, um, and that's what they're being told here. Look, we're, we're going to take, we're going to be the judge of this. If you don't make your mind up and do something here. Okay, guys, I just did a reading just like this almost. Um, Ace of Coins, yeah, it's time for new beginnings here. It, I, I feel like this, look, the divine is trying to clearly show this person, we, number one, which way do you want to go? Number two, sit down and pay attention, right? I think that should be number one. Sit down and pay attention. What path are you going to choose? Okay, because you're, you're, all you're doing is creating endings for yourself here. The, things are coming to an end. If you don't choose a path, you're going to be going through constant endings. Okay, um, I feel like this person doesn't want to change. They want to hang out in a comfort zone, and the divine's not allowing them to do that anymore. They're just not. They're telling these people, sit down. Look at the hand of the divine. You sit down. Know your place, right? You're not in control. We're in control. And it's time for you to decide. So do you want endings, like a loop of endings and burdens in your life? Or do you want a new beginning, right? And your ten of coins, um, wish fulfillment. I feel like this person is being told, you know, they need to do something. They need to take some kind of action. They need to actually choose a path and possibly end out something toxic or whatever doesn't serve them anymore so that this is, situation can transform, so their life can change, okay? And, um, and the divine's just not waiting anymore. This is it. This is it. It's... This is the moment of truth, man. It's not even a final countdown anymore. They're past that point. They're past that point. I'm seeing, like, the world card in this, too. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this person is about to really have all of these burdens kind of crash down on top of them. Um, I feel like they don't want change, but they're going to be taught a major lesson here. I feel like the divine is not real happy um, with these people. And I, I'm sensing that some people are like completely oblivious. There's one on one side here, they're turned away. And other people are starting to get the message. And divine is only focused on the ones who are getting the message. It may make them feel bad because they have to look at themselves, and that's tough. 
some of these people have done some pretty harsh things. Okay, insensitivity. Um, they, they've been in their ego. They've been controlling. They've been inconsiderate, disrespectful. Um, they've hurt other people needlessly and never made it right. They need to look at that. Okay, they need to take a look at that. Um, they're showing me a movie, and I'm not sure what movie this is. It's a Kevin Bacon movie. Flatliners, that's what they're showing me, is the movie called Flatliners, where each one of these people, um, they like, they were brought to a state of death, right? Like a, a near-death experience, and they all had to relive like something that they did wrong in their life, okay? They're also showing me the movie Jacob's Ladder. So I don't, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, though. All I know is it creeped me out. I don't know what it's about, so I, maybe I'll have to look that up again. <laughs> I don't really want to. I want, I like keeping my vibes high, so I stay away from things that make me feel bad or make, like, upset me or, you know. But, yeah, I, that's what this is, though. If you look really close, the divine is only focused on the ones that, um, feel remorse, the ones that are looking at themselves, okay? But the ones that are turned away from the divine, they're not getting any attention from the divine, okay? They're not. So, yeah, that's what this lesson is, and that's what, that's what the divine is trying to get these people to pay attention and boss up, and boss up. And I feel like reach for something new here with the Ace of Wands. They need to um, raise their vibrations. They need to get some courage. They need to have some fire in them here. Where's the fight, man? You know what I mean? They need to stand up and fight for themselves here at this point. Because the divine is literally, it's almost like the people that are um, not paying attention and um, trying to avoid this change, there they may even be forsaken. The divine's not focusing on, on people who aren't listening anymore. They're wanting people that are going to listen and take a look at themselves and do the work and, and accept a change here. I'm telling you, man, you either boss up or, or you're out. That's kind of what the, the divine is saying. Boss up or you're out. You know? And I feel like that's kind of what this is with the three of swords. That's it. You know, that's that, that's that feeling of loss. You know, um, I feel like if, if people continue to betray God... Guess what? God is not going to focus on them anymore. They're not, God's not going to give their energy to that anymore. And they will in turn feel forsaken. Okay? Eight of coins. They need to do their work. They need to learn their lessons. They, they should be reading up on this stuff. They should be doing their homework. They should be putting in that effort. And they're not. Okay, and I feel like, yeah, look at this. It's, it, they just turn away from it here. They just walk away. Time and time again, the divine has handed these people a cup. Learn the spiritual lesson. Learn it. And they just keep turning their back on it and walking away. Okay, and I feel like um, this is also spirit showing this person, you know, this is... This is for divine feminines, divine beings, right? Divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Um, divine beings are held at a higher standard, and it's time to put forth that effort. You know, and a decision needs to be made here, too, of what path somebody wants in love. You know, you could be dealing with the Gemini here. I've got Taurus, Aries. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it could be any sign, really. The devil, yeah, make it. You need to choose a path. You need to choose a path. Two of swords, the lovers, the devil, the hangman, the higher thought, the world, death. The, this person needs to choose a path and let something go. Okay? And I feel like they have a choice. 
between the divine and the devil. What is it going to be? Because you know what? Very soon, very soon, the divine will just leave them to this devil energy. Doing nothing is a choice. That is making a choice. It's a choice not to create change. And that's what the divine will give them. You know, they'll be stuck in hangman mode in toxic situations until they learn how to walk away and heal and do put in the effort and learn. You know, and those who can continuously avoid this and ignore the messages they're going to be stuck in toxicity, okay? They're going to be stuck in he-man mode, wondering what to do, where to go, okay? Star energy, I feel like these people are being led with the star. I also feel like the divine feminines are in star energy right now out here. Um, you're almost like an instrument for the divine to show people the light okay you shine a light here for other people to see you're a guide for others and you've been a guide this whole time for this person and they've ignored you you know i feel like yeah they just can't do it anymore feeling heavy gemini energy here i'm seeing that these people are out of time okay queen of coins energy for I feel like divine feminine, divine feminines, you're already committed. At this point in time, I feel like you've already committed and made your choice and chosen your path. And I feel like you're committed to your divine path. You know who's had your back. I feel like you've been loyal this whole time. You've been loyal to this journey and loyal to this connection this whole time. Okay, but now... Now you're being spiritually led forward because there's people that are lagging behind in their work. Let's face it. Okay, trying to shirk their responsibilities. Uh, not take accountability, right? And I feel like, um, I feel like you've remained committed. Now it's almost like you're committed to spirit. You're committed to those who had your back through this whole time. And a lot of you have found that um, that's only been the divine. Look around. Who, who do you have around you? You know, a lot of us are, are in this completely alone. We've had to release and heal from friendships, family ships, right? Exes. Um, we've had to release a lot, a whole lot. And there's not a whole lot of people left around you that you're realizing actually had your back. I feel like you're committed to those who had your back and supported you and held you up and helped you heal through this journey. And I feel like hardly any of them are actual people on the 3D. I feel like we're talking about your commitment to the divine. They're the only ones who've actually been there for you. So I feel like, yeah, your commitment to this path and what, what it is that you're, you're doing and being thankful and grateful every day for how far you've come and where they've brought you. I feel like that's bringing you to this Queen of, Pen or, yeah, Queen of Pentacles energy. Sorry. Says so Queen of Coins. Same thing. Queen of Pentacles energy where you're now in a solid foundation. You know who you are. I feel like you know what kind of great responsibility you have too here with the Queen of Pentacles and the star. You know, you're here to guide other people with your light, intuitive messages of your spirituality, right? That loving, nurturing, caring kind of energy that you have. Um, yeah, and it's made you very stable because you're stable in your faith. It's, it's been unwavered through this whole journey, okay? And I feel like other people here... Four of Swords energy, I feel like they're, uh, the light is being shined on them, okay? I feel like they are getting the messages, but they don't want to face anything. 
they're looking like, oh my gosh, you know, they, they may even be very surprised by what you're doing and who you are right now at this time, realizing you're a divine being, earth angel energy, star, out in the public eye, um, on a glow up. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're finally realizing here what they did. They're seeing you now as the Ten of Cups energy. Okay? I feel like um, if you needed help with anything before, you don't anymore. You've got six hands here. You're holding up your own wands here. I feel like you're just out here glowing. They see you abundant. They see you stable, standing on a firm foundation. And I feel like um, each torch here, stand for you, it stands for the help from the divine. Okay, the changes in your life, you've had several transformations here, I feel. And people are seeing, seeing this kind of like in awe, okay? Pain, grief, look at this, having a lot of pain, a lot of grief. I feel like you've healed from all of this. And now you're super stable and you owe it all to the divine. Ace of Cups. The sun, some of these people are finding out uh, it's, it's completely exposed, your spirituality and how strong you are and what your intuitive abilities are, what they can do. I feel like it's got people amazed how much you've healed, everything that you've been through, everything that you've had to endure. You've healed on your own to the point where you can guide and lead other people into their own healing. You know how important you are? That's what these people are seeing. Okay, that's what they're seeing here. I, I feel like um, it kind of makes them want to take a pause. Like, it's sort of like, this to me, it feels like it's, it's taking their breath away. It's surprising. They need to sit down for this. You know? They're seeing your importance here. They're seeing who you are and what you can do. They're having a hard time maybe wrapping their head around this. They're watching you under a microscope, watching you close. I feel like you've been an instructor out here and a guide for people this whole time. You know, you're, you're, this, you're the divine's help on the front line, helping, these, help, helping other people see the light. Okay? But the, there's, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink is what I'm hearing, right? Um, the, here it is. The ones, there's still people out there that just refuse to listen. And now it's to the point where they're being released. You know, left to their own devices. Good luck. <laughs> you know, um, but the ones who are listening, they feel bad. I feel like there's people out here that are surprised by what you're doing, amazed at how much you've healed because they know what you've been through. They know, they've put you through it themselves. You know, I feel like you're making people look at themselves. So is the divine. Sit down, learn your lesson here. Um, they're being judged. They feel bad. Some of these people feel horrible for how they treated you. I'm kind of getting the sense that they just threw you to the wolves. They just threw you down here. Okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. But the divine was there to pick you back up. And now, because of that, you're getting your justice, vindication in the public eye. Um, people see who you are, and they're amazed by that. They have to kind of sit down, like I said. Um, so, yeah. So there's people out here that want to apologize to you and people that are amazed that it caused your pain and are amazed that you, um, you healed from it. So, I mean, not only healed, but you're having a victory out here. And I feel like you speak it, you've spoken your truth. Um, I feel like justice is coming in and issuing karma to people as well. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, and you. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This is the end to a cycle here. 
I feel like you're out here in the middle of everything, just blossoming and blooming and open, things are opening up for you and people are seeing it. You know, I feel like this is something that's public. This is something that's happening around the world. Um, a major change, a shift is happening. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like those who are going to listen, they'll still be, they'll still be, a, the divine will work with them. But those who won't, they're going to be left behind at the turn of this wheel. They're going to be left behind. So, yeah. What else can you show me here? So there's things that people still need to do, and they don't have any time left. You know? Kind of, I feel like it's a mix of different people's energy here, but High Priestess, I feel like you're going to be fine. You get to sit and eat, and some of these people, they just get to watch. You know what I mean? The divine has prepared a table for you in the face of your enemies, basically. You're getting vindicated. You're being blessed here. Uh, you're completely tapped in and committed to the divine. You know? Um, yeah, you're getting your justice, and they get to watch. And the ones who refuse to bring about any change for themselves, yep, thank you. They get a tower. The divine's going to destroy everything else. Because people need to change, you know. Yep. They need to embrace this change. They need to be ready for respect, consideration, love, truth. You know, the wholesome things. The time of toxicity, it's over. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. It's, I feel like it's an extension from the one that I just did. So you may want to check out the other one, too. I just put one out um, about um, spirit is pretty much fed up, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah.